So we've wanted a pygmy hedgehog for a while and now is the time for us to get one. The, the thing you must do is research, 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 because then although they're easy pets to look after once you've got them, there's a lot that goes into it before you get them. You've got to think about where they're going to be housed, what, what sort of vivarium you're going to get, how they're going to be heated and what they're going to need on a day to day basis. So I'm just going to run through the things that we've got um, for when he arrives. We've got all the bits and pieces we think we're going to need for when he arrives. Obviously, there's going to be things that we haven't thought of. I've read lots of liter different literature. I've been onto the Pygmy Hedgehog website and I've looked through all their files. So I think I'm mostly on top of it. But obviously, there's things that are going to crop up that aren't here. But we'll update you as we go along on things we need and things we purchase that are extra. But to start with, we bought um, scales. Now, obviously, when your hedgehog comes, it's important to know kind of what their weight is to make sure they're healthy. If you're going to get a baby hedgehog, then you want to be sure that it's putting on the right amount of weight every week. Um, whether they're healthy and thriving so the good thing to do is get a great pair of scales now I've done my research on these ones and these are supposed to be the most accurate that you can get I got the bowl with it because obviously for putting them in but I'm thinking that I might have to line that with a towel or uh, a flannel or something soft that he's not going to mind going in otherwise he might sort of slide down the side of the bowl but I'm quite happy with that one and I'll let you know how I get on with it um, also you're going to need probably a journal so that you can keep a note of the weight every week or every month or however often you decide to do it just so you can be on top of that and if you're obviously going to breed them in the future then for the bait or the babies then you can keep a, a note of their weights as and when so the next thing we got was nail clippers now hedgehogs need their nails clipped fairly regularly um, obviously they're on they will be running so they might wear a little bit down but generally they grow quite quickly so nail clippers I've got plastic gloves, disposable gloves, um, as they wee and poo quite a lot and we need to be cleaned out. Maybe not their entire cage every day, but certainly their wheels and any areas that have got excessive wee or poo in them will need to be cleaned. And obviously you want to protect yourselves. Um, so Aveeno Baby, this is very, very gentle. Um, when your head dogs go around the wheel, they're most likely be pooping around the wheel and they tend to get little poopy boots on their feet so they need to be cleaned off maybe daily maybe a couple of times a week depending on how, how dirty your hedgehog gets and certainly they're going to need a, a bath a full bath um, quite regularly they don't need a lot of water they need to go in a very small shallow tray with just a tiny bit of water and be just very gentle with a cotton bud when you clean like around their quills um, Lucillin, this is an antiseptic skin care if they get any little wounds or little sores on their feet from running around the wheel, which they can do. Sometimes they can run around the wheel quite excessively. So this one is a, a good one, like a good first aid kit uh, to have. So this is hypo care. This is um, what I find to be the best thing when they're quilling, when they get when they quill, their new quills come through. Their old ones come out, the new ones come through, but they come through um, bigger than the hole that was already there from their previous one. So it can actually be quite painful. For them so this is like a soothing spray that you can put on them uh, I'm supposed to help them uh, quite a lot with that some hedgehogs just seem to sail through it and some seem to suffer with it when they can be a bit grumpy for a while so this is another good first aid one um, I've also got um, a fragrance free hand wash uh, pygmy hedgehogs really don't like anything with any strong fragrance so if you can wash your hands before you come out and handle them so you've got if you've got any perfume from the day or any um, dirt on your hands or anything that they might be slightly susceptible to then wash your hands thoroughly before you come out and, and see them for the day. Um, Dettel, um, this is a good one for like general cleaning of their cages, it's non-fragranced, kills most bacteria and certainly all the ones that you'd need for that so that's a brilliant one but also Dettel wipes are just as good. Now these are the tr treats, these treats are actually what they like, their dream is Cat, they're actually cat treats, but they like the, they've got to be chicken ones or meat ones. Don't get many of the fish ones because that's not good for them. But they like these as extra treats, so I've got them some of them ready. Some certain amount of live food with their diets. So I've got these two, so if I'm going to give them mealworms or Morio worms, wax worms, these are the kind of things I'll be using. Not that th I'm thrilled about hand doing them by hand, so these are perfect. These ones are the apple and blackcurrant mix. These are from Pets at Home. So I actually got these on a three for two offer, so they were even better value. But these will go into their forage tray, which I'll let you know about in a further video. 
but uh, these will enrich their environment, give them something to forage in. Well, I'll probably add some mealworms and things like that and some balls so they can have a little play in there. But this is all um, enrichment for their environment. So I've done a lot of research. I've got some books and pieces and I've got basic um, hedgehog first aid and things like that. I think it's good to read as much as you can, whether it be on about normal hedgehogs or pygmy hedgehogs, just so you can get kind of a... A basic knowledge of things that you might run into. I mean, I got this from, there's a Vale Wildlife Hospital, which is really near to us, just up the road. So I got one of their, their care um, care booklets. Um, that tells you kind of loads of things that you might come across, things you might get. Obviously, they're for wild hedgehogs, but they say a lot of the same anatomy and some of the same things will cross over. So anything you can learn has got to be a good thing. Um, I've got fluffy tunnels like little hides for them just I wouldn't spend a lot of money on them because they'll probably get dirty they'll probably get pooped on these are just easy to clean they're only from like eBay or Amazon or somewhere like that then they're just three or four pounds each but if they last one to two months then it's good value for them um, the, the most economical thing you can actually probably get for them is toilet rolls uh, toilet rolls I love to go in you can hide things in them um, the only thing you need to do is you literally need to cut along the back before you give them to them so they can't get stuck or their spine stuck so that's the most important thing you must remember is to cut them along the, along the length of them um, puppy pads I mean puppy pads aren't cheap actually they can they can be quite pricey but they are absorbent so this will save you when you come to the cleaning regime you can literally if you don't want to clean the whole of your area right every day or every couple of days then pop these in you can literally just replace them in a few minutes get rid of the old ones and they'll probably save you in the long run you can get fleece liners um you can put fleece fleeces in these are a bit too big these ones we find but you can get fleeces in because fleece obviously dries quickly so it's something you can obviously put in the washing machine um so that would be another thing that you could use to line. And I know the pygmy headers love to get under them, play in them, and even go to sleep under them. So that's worth having. I've got the Fina card. Now the Fina card is dust free, environmentally friendly, and recyclable, and being recycled in fact. So I've got a big bag of that to get started. Um, I also got the Fina bedding, so that will go inside any nesting area. Um, I've got there's an actual bit in nest area under the ramp in our vivarium, so I'll put some of that in there and try and encourage them. We'll pop the links below. Um, yeah, we'll pop all links below from where we bought everything. It's mostly, I have to say, Amazon, eBay. Um, those probably the two. And pets at home, obviously, for these ones. Um, I've also got some freeze dried, freeze dried mealworms. Um, these aren't as good for them as fresh. Or live, I should say. I mean, they are free. They are freeze dried, so they have got a better quality than the just the normal dry that you give to the birds, say in the winter. Um, but they haven't got as much gelatin in them, which is what you your pygmy hedgehog will need for um, its growth and development and things like that. So a live, a certain amount of live in their diet is good. Um, they do the the majority of their meal is made up of actually cat kibble. Um, I've got some in here. I've actually got two lots at the moment. So the cat kibble that you give them, you don't just give them like one type. You have to give them f like five different types. When you get your pygmy hedgehog from your breeder, they'll probably send a small amount or enough for a few weeks for them to carry on with their same diet. Um, obviously, you might be able to buy from your... Some breeders sell the actual food so you can continue to buy it. If not, it is possible to get prepared mixes either from... Um, Sue Hampton, she does them on um, the Pygmy Hedgehog Club and I think um, there's, a, there's some, also somebody on eBay that sells them. So it's just going to be a bit of trying there about what suits your, your hedgehog. So if they come with a pack with them, keep, that, keep them on that and then if you decide you want to move into something else then gradually introduce it over a few days because they can get a bit of a funny tummy. So we'll go on to diet later, there's lots of different things you can add to their diet to make them happier, more enriched. So I'll do a future video on that.